waiting and uh, thank you to everyone for joining us. I'm Sandra Gage, Chief Marketing Officer. Uh, today uh, we have with us um, head coach Octavio Zambrano, our captain Atiba Hutchinson, and David Junior Hoylet. Um, we will start with some comments from the head table. We will have a uh, short Q&A session and then we'll have a photo op. We also have some special guests here with us today that we'd like to welcome. Uh, we have the President of Ontario Soccer, Mr. Ron Smale. We have a member of our Hall of Fame, Mr. Dick Howard. And we also have um, Paul Staltieri, who is soon to be a member of our Hall of Fame as of this Saturday, and Alfonso Davies, one of our players who is recently the top young player at the CONCACAF Gold Cup. So we will start with some qu comments from um, Coach Zambrano about the match coming up and how camp Thank went. Thank you. Thank you. Um, well, uh, above all, it's a, it's a great time, I think, for us to be uh, in Toronto, to play on a beautiful field and in a venue that hosts a, a very good team as well. Um, Toronto fans are used to see good football played on a weekend to weekend basis, so we hope not to disappoint on that front. Uh, also, we are playing against a team that uh, uh, was our uh, our team to beat to continue in um, in our quest to to get uh, uh, to the final stages of the Gold Cup, and and so there is a little bit of uh, of a revenge going there. Uh, we have to assert ourselves on our home field, obviously. Um, and above all, as I said, uh, for us, it's, it's good to be here in, in, in Toronto and, and playing against uh, knowledgeable fans, OK? And maybe just a few comments on how training's gone, Coach um, Well, it's, it's also uh, um, important uh, for us um, that uh, we have now a, a, a good blend of players. We try to do that in the Gold Cup, and now with Atiba uh, being with us, and um, obviously Alfonso and, and, and the new guys that have come, uh, we feel that we have, we have that right blend again. Um, I can't stress enough how important it is for us uh, that this uh, transitional period for, for Canada soccer, uh, where uh, some uh, players that have, have, have earned themselves uh, caps with, with the squad uh, are still, are still uh, active, and that uh, the new players that, that are coming through are able to uh, mix with them in, you know, on and off the field. Uh, I think it's a, it's a great uh, moment, as I said. So, Camp has gone well. We are on course um, to do the things that we we wanted to do. Um, it's never, never uh, enough time, you know, as it happens with this type of uh, camps. But uh, but we feel that we are we are on course. Thank you. So we'll first hear from one of our two Brampton athletes that are sitting at the head table, Captain Atiba Hutchinson, and he's just going to let us know how he feels about being back in camp. Um, thanks. Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, you know, playing with the national team is has always been something you know very special uh, for me. You know, to put on the jersey and represent uh, the country. Uh, you know, this uh, this team has given me a lot, um, given me a you know a start to my career. So for me to to come back after you know, a little bit more than a year is it's a good moment for me. You know, I'm happy about being back with the group. Uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, young, young, young players, new faces. So, uh, yeah, just to be back is, um, you know, I'm, I'm happy about that. Uh, I spoke a little bit with, with the coach uh, over the last few months about, um, you know, what I wanted to do. And, uh, you know, we just agreed that we'll just take it one step at a time and, and see what's happening. So, um, yeah, uh, it's, uh, it's interesting to be here. You know, the team has been doing very well. Uh, you know, I watched a little bit of them uh, over the Gold Cup, and there's a lot of uh, new faces, and you know, bring a lot to to the team. Um, and uh, you know, there's still that uh, mix of experience. So, 
Um, you know, that's my job, just to come in and, and give uh, as much experience as I can. Um, uh, you know, with the knowledge that I have and you know the you know the caps that I have for the country. So, just to be involved again is is special for me, and I'm just looking forward to you know going out on on the weekend and hopefully putting out a good performance and and getting a good result and you know just building from there. Thanks, Atiba. And uh, Junior, if you maybe just speak to the fact, and I'm not sure if anybody is aware here, but this will be the first time that Junior has played in his hometown. Thanks, thanks. Uh, yes, um, I'm excited to play uh, my first professional match in my, my hometown. So uh, I've been away for many years, and it's good to come back and uh, play with a great squad and a great group of, of players as well as friends in front of my family and friends as well. So uh, the time, the city is right now is on a high with the Toronto FC doing so well. And uh, hopefully we could keep that going and get the right result against a, a team that uh, we have to get one back on that uh, gave us, kicked us out of the Gold Cup. So it's more than uh, friendly for me. And uh, hopefully we could go and what, what the coach has been Given us in training, uh, good, good uh, plantation for us to succeed. So, started off well, and it's an exciting time for Canada. Thank you. So we can open it up for questions from the floor, if anyone would like to do that, or would you all prefer to wait for your one-on-ones? Anybody? Neil. Octavio, do you have a sense of, uh, of how strong? The Yes, we we know that you know they played Trinidad and and we know the guys that are coming into into this match. Um, it, it's a strong squad. It doesn't uh, really differ that much from the one that played in the Gold Cup. Um, so we know what to expect from them. Um, it's always a question of whether they are going to adopt the same. Uh, strategy uh, when uh, they played us at the Gold Cup, which they succeeded with, and and whether we can, uh, on our own as well, adapt to that and, and, and be able to, to do what we have to do to beat them. Uh, so I think it's going to be a very exciting match uh, for that reason and obviously for the reasons that we mentioned before. I I expect to see the full squad. You know, it's a, he is an important part of of their of their uh, team. And um, for a, for a while, when he was not on the field, and 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 his substitute uh, came, he, he was also very good. So we 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 can be thinking about stuff like that. We rather try to focus on what we have been doing that's been working for us and try to emphasize those things. And, um, and hopefully uh, we, we think that is enough for us to overcome them. How important is it to the young players to have the mix of experience almost in season? It's very important because I, I was able to witness firsthand when Patrice was with us during the Gold Cup and, and you know, how uh, his just his presence in, in and around um, the guys uh, made made a, a big big impact. Um, it's not different with with Atiba and, and some of the guys that have have been around. Um, they're reaching those you know those milestones that are that are so important in a player's career. Um, and for for young guys, it's it's just there is no substitute. Uh, for them to to just see how players uh, go about the business of being a professional s uh, soccer player and, and and all the preparation that goes into and the mindset that uh, that they have, um, you know, it's something to emulate for them. It, it, it's it's a given. It's, it's very important. Uh, 
Um, yeah, uh, <clears throat> I think um, it was just it was impressing to see how the team uh, itself uh, was was able to possess the ball very well. Um, not only keeping possession, but you know, getting into to good uh, attacking positions, uh, uh, you know, very effectively. Um, you know, there was a bit of uh, confidence that uh, you don't really see too much with uh, with Canada. You know, um, I think it's it's always been something that we've been been lacking a bit um, with with creating chances and you know scoring goals. Uh, and obviously, some of the younger players that were uh, you know playing like Alfonso um, he looked uh, you know very impressive. Uh, you know, he hasn't. Uh, Played too long with the f with the first team, but uh, it 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 showed like he w he had been there for years. You know, he, he played with a lot of confidence. Um, uh, you know, wasn't scared to to go at players, and you know, very effective. Um, and you know, a few other players as well. Um, some players that stood out. Uh, also, uh, Mike uh, Petrasso. You know, as a as a fullback, he looked uh, you know very um, vibrant and you know full of energy and. Just you know, not afraid. Um, and this is important to have this in, in young players, you know, coming into the system. Um, we, we have to have that, that bit of confidence and just believe that we can go out and play with, with anybody. So um, to get this at a you know a very early ages in our players is, is uh, very important for us. So yeah, we just want to continue to to build from that. You. Yeah. Nah, it's always, I always want to be back home and play back home, so I'm very excited, like I said, and uh, I'm excited with the squad we have, the, the ability we, we can go out and show what we can do in front of our home fans and uh, bring excitement for the young players coming through as well, not only the young players that's in the squad now, but for the next generation to help improve Canadian football. Yes. Um, well, there are some, uh, some uh, obviously some players that uh, that are part of our team that uh, that play um, in, in in Toronto. Um, the coach was my ex-player. The coaches were my ex-players. Um, you can draw some things uh, on that front. I mean, you know, they are on a quest to to break a record that they were part of. We were all part of of, of those records, and, and you know, the the idea of of going forward and and um, emphasizing an attacking style of football is also, you know, I'm imagining trying to draw some some um, similarities. But um, the important things for for us is that our guys, um, the guys that are in the in the Toronto FC team, get uh, the minutes that they deserve uh, to play because I see them; they are very good players. And and I, you know I understand it's a, it's difficult when you have a good a good team. Uh, you don't you don't want to fix what is not broken. Um, but you know for for our um, Benefit, you know, our players are involved in a good environment, in a good, in a good organization, and um, and so that that is that is good. But uh, obviously, we would we would like to see more playing time for for them. Yes. Maybe just to add to that, the last time we played Jamaica in Toronto was in 2014. We won three to one, and the crowd was just over 12,000, and our tickets are already well over 16,000. So definitely the momentum, the growth, and the, the results we saw at the CONCACAF Gold Cup and the confidence, obviously, that people have in this team. They're coming out to watch. And certainly having Atiba and Junior on the roster and all of their friends and family that are coming to support them <laughs> are contributing to that. So it's very positive. OK, are we good with uh, questions from the floor? I'm going to assume Dick. Against 
No, uh, you know, it's always a difficult game playing against the Jamaicans. Um, you know, they're, they're very physical. Um, and over the years, I think they've, uh, you know, they've gotten a little bit more uh, technical as well. Um, they've got a, a pretty good base. Um, but, you know, like I said, the way that we have been playing over the, you know, the past few games uh, in the tournament as well, um, we just have to kind of build off of that, um, you know, putting the right things in place like we've been doing over the last couple of days in training, you know, just being a little bit more concentrated, um, obviously having that belief. Uh, and the, the more we get together, the better it is, you know. We need to start clicking and, and gelling a little bit more, um, and that will happen um, as we have a new coach. So. Um, it's just these little things. Um, obviously, playing here in, in Toronto, you get that extra push from the fans. You know, they, they really get behind us every time. Um, and I think, you know, just playing in Canada in general uh, has been helping us over the last few years. So, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, I think it will be a good game for us, uh, and we want to go out and get a gr good result. So hopefully we can pull that off. Thank you. Okay, so uh, just a couple of uh, housekeeping before we go to a photo op is the kickoff is at 7. Uh, the doors will open at 6. In addition to our induction for the Hall of Fame for Paul, uh, we will also be honoring three players who have 50 international appearances. That would be Marcel Dijong, Nick Ledgerwood, and Tossin Ricketts. In addition, we will be honoring um, a Canadian Player of the Year, Atiba Hutchinson, as well as our U17 Player of the Year, Alfonso Davies, in front of the match. And we will also have a special presentation for Alfonso in recognition of the accomplishments at CONCACAF Gold Cup this year. So lots to see in advance of the match as well. So we will do a photo op now. If I can ask the um, guests at the table to just come to the front of the table. And Paul. Oh. 